just give me one minute here please hello everybody thank you for joining me here today on this introduction of the new Incan Empire my name is Austin Zest today obviously we are promoting our own um, website uh, www.newincanempire.com and just today I, I do feel I want to present make announcements through YouTube that's my best form uh, where I have a video with a slideshow um, that's that will be the common theme here uh, also we will be doing videos from where we source our products uh, which is this right now we have one product salt from the salt mines here in Peru and it is an excellent product it will be ready for sale very soon uh, but I do want to promote and start making uh, making a name for ourselves and uh, establishing um, connections too. So <clears throat> anyway, so my name is Austin Zest and the New Incan Empire welcomes you. We'll, we'll go into detail more here. What is the New Incan Empire? Well, the New Incan Empire is something uh, that we established. Basically, we're just putting our flag in the cyber, the ground of cyberspace right now. That's why it's a new Incan empire, because we can do that. We can have even more of an effect than, than what the old Incan empire had, uh, because we can reach the whole world right now. Now, we are selling products that will have um, actual value, uh, say that this d didn't happen. Uh, say that um, Wi-Fi went down tomorrow. You, you, by purchasing and by working with us, the New Incan Empire, you could still form your own type of empire wherever you are. Uh, hopefully that's years. Hopefully that doesn't happen at all. Either way, it's going to be a win-win situation. If you invest in our salt, because the salt is such high quality, it's so good, it, it will, no matter what, hold its value. Because look at the Chinese Empire. A thousand years before the Roman Empire, they were taxing salt. They used salt as a commodity. And so that's uh, getting into the next part. Who, who are the salt kings? Well, the salt kings can be you, can be me. This is Tupac Amaru, by the way. Not tu Tupac Amaru. Uh, Tupac that you know of in the United States, the famous rapper. Rest in peace. Uh, he actually... Uh, it was named after this this revolutionary. This man here was actually uh, about four hours from where I live in the center square of Cusco. He was tied up in the town square and pulled with ropes by all fours, and, and his limbs were pulled out because he was trying to help revolutionaries and the uh, the way trade works, and he was trying to help bring more wealth back into the to the people, uh, the people who grow coffee and coca and these things, natural natural medicines. Uh, I live in an area where it's abundant of maca and, and uh, sachi inchi, which is kind of like, kind of reminds you of peanut butter, but even better. These oils, these, I, ha I really believe this is the best salt in the world. I'm not, I'm not just saying that because this is ours. I, look, I have nothing against the Himalayans. This salt is just, it's just great. It's fantastic. It's, I, I eat it right off of, I eat it sometimes. It's so good. Fresh in uh, minerals. That salt that you, that table salt, that white stuff, is pure poison. You might as well be dumping poison in there. The salt is not bad. Your body knows when it's enough. But with that stuff, it's just, it's in everything. Potato chips. Uh, that stuff is so bad. It's poisonous. This salt is not. This is pink. This is not our uh, final bag product, by the way. This is, um, this is something that I made. We are... Uh, very close to having everything ready, getting our own uh, bag printed out uh, with a barcode for, for the United States. So you guys can start ordering off of www.newincanempire.com very soon. So Salt Kings, that, that's you, that's me. You know, you order, say for example, you order salt, kind of think network marketing for a minute. You order, um, you know, 10 boxes of salt that, you know, that's what, uh, 200 bags of these and you store that stuff for a rainy day and I mean rainy day a stormy uh, economy uh, economic winter that could be coming 
um, you have something worth of value that you can actually trade. You can take power back in your own hands, and this is small enough to where you can actually go, you take 10 bags with you, and you can trade it for something very much worth of value because of the value that this actually holds. Now, paper money where no, no offense against Bitcoin either, but man, guess what? Wi-Fi goes down tomorrow, that stuff goes too. You know, and, and the way that things are going with the governments and stuff, they're, they're going to dominate and take over all that, that whole industry anyway. Uh, pretty, you know, so let's, let's, um, let's take back some power uh, into our hands right now, you know, and we have an opportunity to do that. So, uh, so who am I? My name is Austin Zest. I uh, am an American citizen. I grew up in San Diego. I... Um, uh, live here in Peru. I have a fiance who I will be getting married to soon, and I um, want to work with other people who want to do the same. You know, who are looking at marriage, who are taking life seriously, not just. Uh, I've had my times, believe me, and um, sick of that. Sick of just living for, for myself selfishly. Let's let's not live for greed. Let's let's um, let's create wealth. Let's create these things. Let's create, but let's also. Um, actually give back but not in some social justice liberal wacko way you know or, or or hey look at me way let's let's actually just live and be kings in our own right in our own domain um you know let's let's live biblically let's live that way so that, those are the people i want to work with again that's how it used to be in the past i believe something really went weirdly wrong people got so obsessed with con consumerism materialism now look i'm not like opposed to all those things but look how far it's gotten it's just absolutely insane uh and these people are just who knows what they're doing eating eating each other's flesh i don't know what i don't know what's going on with all that exactly but you hear definitely some rumors and stuff look i want nothing to do with that so uh let's create our own empire let's do it and let's let's be our own king salt kings and uh, that's that's the vision I have more or less. So we, we can have products uh, based from here from Peru too. If you have things uh, in the United States and you want to establish your own kind of uh, mark and you have a really good idea like that, present it to us and we can sell it down here. Now it's less uh, of a markup obviously, but we can the, the, Bolivia by the way, Bolivia, the country south of me, they they're their own country really. They are uh, doing amazing things, and there's a lot of money there. So there, there's a lot of opportunities. We can actually start to truly uh, transform and revolutionize some things, the way trades work, and learn from the past, obviously, as well. So that's, um, yeah, I, I did a lot of, myself, I did a lot of working uh, construction, uh, working in um, Pizza Hut, uh, digging ditches, working at hotels, Marriott, just a lot of jobs like that. I always thought that I had to work for somebody. Uh, you know, you get that kind of in you. It's really hard to, you know, you get, it's just hard to venture out on your own. Finally, we're doing, I have a very good business partner from Germany. Him and I work together. He lives here in Peru as well. We have kind of a similar vision, you know, to create a sustainable living to, you know, in nature to have that as well. I live in a city, about 50,000 people, medium sized city. Um, and my life is very good right now, and um, I, but I but I want to but I have big dreams and big goals, but I want to be pretty f uh, based firm firm here in reality in in the world. I want to be here, you know. Um, so that's who I am, more or less. There's a lot more to me, but uh, let's just pause that for now. Our mission: welcome. Uh, we welcome you to fearlessly stand with us as we revolutionize the way trade between communities work. Uh, with honesty, love, sincerity, and strength. Together, we will show the world that we can conduct business in a way that creates wealth for all. I know that's a very broad um, statement, and it's kind of cheesy, but, I, you know, whatever, you got to start somewhere, you know. Um, I, I do write, but uh, I, I want to get more into detail with this, maybe write some kind of commandments under the Ten Commandments, something like that, you know, some, some sort of code of honor that if I work with you or other people or clients, we can all be kind of on the same page, um, you know, sort of um, sort of like a, a not-so-secret society, just a, a society that's just, we, you know, we don't have to be in secrets. It's like the J John F. Kennedy speech, that brilliant speech that might, might have got him killed. Uh, anyway, 
those of you who know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, so uh, let's keep going because I could talk forever. So uh, strict a strict moral code. It's just introduction, you know, very vague, brief introduction. So loyalty, obviously, you know, if we uh, if I work with you, you know, and you work with me, I. Uh, we should expect some type of loyalty, you know. Say, say I work with a client, and there's a better opportunity that comes up. It it, it wouldn't be it would be against both of our interests be, uh, for me to go ahead and go around you in some kind of way, you know what I mean? Or, or there's another uh, opportunity that I can make some extra thousands of dollars by selling salt to your business partner instead of you. For that, you see what I mean? There's all these things that go into business. Obviously, with me, the same thing. If you were to just come down here and kind of start your own thing, you know, first loyalty, and we talk to each other and we communicate, and uh, that that's very important in this business. Uh, authenticity. Uh, I hope I'm being uh, authentic right now. Not uh, hey, welcome to the New England Empire. You know, not like that stuff. Um, trying to sound like a news reporter. You know, it is a little bit uncomfortable for me sometimes, but I will get more comfortable as I. Uh, talk to you more through YouTube, through cyberspace, man. Uh, so authenticity, just let's just be real. You know, when there's a problem that come up, let's not be intimidated by each other. Let's just talk man to man, okay? Uh, compassion, obviously, that um, I, you know, I don't know, maybe that's just me preaching. We, it's a very difficult thing, especially in business. We can start just getting cutthroat. We can start uh, just not caring, not uh, forgetting what it means to empathize with people and to just to hoard it, hoard it all for ourselves, things like that. Because I really believe we just lose that. Um, you know, you, you hoard everything for yourself. You just end up losing it all anyway. Strength. I do want to work with strong people. You know, I, I just don't like uh, too much passive aggressive stuff and uh, too much BS. Let's just let's just be strong. There's nothing wrong with being strong. Kind of bring that back. Own that. Own yourself as a man. You know. Be strong in your household. It's very difficult sometimes. You know, this whole feminist agenda and everything is just taking over. It's crazy. So pride, you know, have some sense of pride in yourself. That means by, you know, less sinning, not, you know, doing certain things that just destroy your the fab, your moral fabric, you know. It just does. It ruins our pride. We have less power and strength and authority in this world when, when we have that. So trust, obviously, that kind of goes with the, what I was saying with loyalty. Uh, trust, you know, we, we do need to have some sort of level. It's very difficult in this world. I have a hard time with trust, man. I can tell you that. Um, but uh, I don't want to, you know. I, I want to um, uh, I want to open that up, you know. But let's, um, but maybe we, we establish these first few things and then trust is something that comes later. Love for family, friends, animals, and God. So, um, uh, Family obviously is is so important, you know. I, I uh, breaks my heart, you know. In the United States, it's just so. That's what I like about Peru. People live with their parents, you know, when they're old, and they take care of them. They build them a house. You know, you should do that too. Let's let's do that. Let's talk about that. You know, we can have streams, weekly streams about that with our our, our men, a code of honor, and we talk about these things together. I think that would be great. That's kind of what I, I the vision I see with the New Incan Empire. You know. We 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 um really establish these things that have been lost. Uh, friends, obviously, you know, friends are so rare. Luckily, I have a very good friend. Uh, like I said, my my uh, business partner from Germany, who's done a lot uh, to get this started. I've basically just had the ideas. I'm kind of the front man for this, but he is really the the brains uh, behind a lot of this stuff. And um, so, I, you know, I have kind of the creative end. That's sort of me. Free spirit liberal, no, <laughs> uh, but um, yeah. So uh, animals, obviously, I have cats. I just gave my I didn't give her my female cat gave birth to five new kittens. So it's crazy. I gotta I gotta give those away in a few weeks. Uh, animals are special, you know. It's dogs, cats. Um, I love lions. That's my favorite animal. A little bit about me. I'm a big fan of the lion. You know, that's the cool thing too. You start making money. We start getting wealth, you know, look at the problem with lions, like, why can't lions live in the United States, why not, why can't they live in the prairies, There's no, I don't see why not, or or here in South America, say what you want about Pablo Escobar, but he had, he did bring the hippo population here to South America, and there were like 75 of them in Colombia, pretty cool, I think, you know, 
It's like a perfect, why not? Uh, there used to be lions all throughout Europe. So, you know, you can get into projects, you can build projects like that. That's too what the New Incan Empire is about, doing unique, different projects that are kind of outside of the box to just make, you know, independent thinking, okay? Not group think. Let's think independently. God, you know, that's a ooh, triggering thing. Well, look, I've done, I've done so much soul searching for God in my life, you know. I've been atheist. I started as a Christian to atheism to kind of hippie new age ufo hypnosis uh many ayahuasca ceremonies many deep things but i've had so uh, actually the ayahuasca ceremonies made me kind of become a christian again because of the uh, just feeling just this unbelievable power from from a god that like there's levels of different levels of god that it seems like uh you know but there is one that's like so much more beyond all of this like dogma and all these small things and it's so powerful but it is like a masculine force this this i just completely feel and believe um so anyway let's keep going final statement so join us as we to uh, join us as together we can create real wealth that cannot be corrupted so we we want to create a system that you know let's just let's just stop this corruption because look look at uh, people are suffering in the world because of this everywhere you know, it's just crazy. It's all for like a, for like some little quick, quick little thing, man. It's, it's just ridiculous. We need new ideas for a new empire. So definitely I'm open to ideas uh, for conversations and things like that, you know, your ideas. Um, let's work together and treat each other with respect. So obviously respect, you know, there's Native American um uh, ideology that I like, you know, to treat the, the fly or the animal, the little dog, the same respect as you would. Treat the elder, the, the grandparent, you would the respect, the same respect as a five-year-old. I love that, man. I love that. Like, that's super hard to do because we, once we, you know, especially when we get religious, you think you know the truth, you know, and nobody else knows. I, I had that when I was in New Age stuff. Uh, everybody else is lost except me. You know, it took me a good many years to realize you know, that was a, not the way to go. You start judging everybody. You know, you can have that uh, for states as well, countries. You get too arrogant um, in your ways, you know. You think being an American or a Peruvian or whatever. You know, we're not going to do that with the New Incan Empire. We're just, we're just going to be, you know. I think that's, that's a, that's, there's something to be said about that, like nationalism and stuff, but there's also, like, you know where it goes too far and you become arrogant and stuff i think that's that's when it gets bad so nothing wrong with waving a flag and being proud you know but also you know not pride and arrogance that's what destroys i believe uh so thank you for listening and i look forward to working with you greatly uh and you know this is not about we're not uh, we're about making connections here and we're about getting getting our voice out just a little bit so i will continue to make uh, YouTube videos in this in this format. If there's anything you'd like to know or you would like to maybe see in these videos, let me know. You know, uh, I will be doing. Might be boring for some, but I don't care. I'm not. I'm not here to impress uh, everybody. I just want to impress the people that I want to work with. You know, and uh, and create. And stuff. If it's ten people who find these videos, but these are ten people who are good clients or perhaps business partners, then this is amazing. Okay, so this is this is what we're working with, and this is what we're doing. So I really appreciate you taking your time. Um, uh, yeah, feel free to give me any feedback, and um, go to www.newincanempire.com. There, uh, I will have my uh, contact information there. Uh, so thank you, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. It's pretty hot here, so I will be taking off this jacket. Uh, thank you. <laughs>